everybody, this is Zoe from No Safer Place and it is the last week in the Zoella Book Club. I cannot believe we are here already. Now before I get on to discussing this week's book, I would like to talk about something really exciting that is taking over the Zoella Book Club. The Zoella Book Club always goes down amazingly on my channel, so I am so excited to announce that from the 23rd of September, No Safer Place will be launching our own book club and I am so excited. We have some amazing authors on board. I don't want to give too much away, but they are some of the top YA authors at the moment. I am just so excited. There are seven authors involved and of course me. We will all be choosing one book each and from the books I've received back so far, there's just such a wide spectrum of books. There are funny books, books that tackle serious issues, just books about everything and I am just... I cannot wait to share these with you. So that will be launching on the 23rd of September. I'll be posting an unboxing video of all the books that have been selected and all the authors that are taking part. And then we will have eight weeks of books and discussions just like the Isabella Book Club. Now let's get on to this week's book. The last book is Letters to the Lost by Bridget Camara. I think it's Camara. Now, I absolutely adored this book. I knew this would be one of the most heart-wrenching ones in the Isabella Book Club, but I didn't realise how absolutely beautiful it would be. The story focuses on two high school students, Juliet Young and Declan Murphy. Juliet's mum has recently died and Juliet likes to write letters to her mum and takes them to her grave because she finds real comfort in doing that. Declan's sister has died, his father's in jail and he's on a downward spiral, well he feels like he's on a downward spiral and he doesn't know how to get out of it. Declan is doing community service at the graveyard one day and he finds a letter, a letter from Juliet, although he doesn't know that it's her. Declan and Juliet start anonymously writing these letters to each other. They really start to open up about what they're really feeling. They start to open up about pain and guilt and grief and coping mechanisms, just everything that you kind of keep to yourself when you're grieving. And they don't realise that they know each other and they agree to keep this relationship that they have anonymous because they feel like if they know each other it will make things worse. As their feelings start to deepen they kind of realise that they need to meet each other because they have helped each other in ways that they didn't think were possible. Declan feels like a failure and that he's stuck in this downward spiral in his life as I've said and, and Juliet, her mum, was a photographer and Juliet has always dreamed of being a photographer from a very young age but now that her mum's died she doesn't feel like she's worthy anymore and she doesn't feel like she can pick up a camera but since they've started talking everything has changed they help each other in so many ways and slowly but surely they come back to their old selves and for me, this book just shows the real power of words. I mean, now that we have technology, we never really write letters or write emails, which I feel emails are more personal than tweets or Facebook messages. I don't know why, there's something about an email that feels personal, as does a letter. And I think this book really shows how how more open you are when you're writing in those forms of text. I'm the same, if I grab a pen and paper, I can write down so much more than I can whilst tapping away at a laptop. And I know that seems silly, but I just feel more open and free when I'm writing in that way. And then there's a revelation. There's something that comes out of the woodwork that will potentially break them, well, it will break them apart if it's true. And I can't say what that is because obviously it's a massive spoiler, but it tests everything that they've built up. It really does. And I read it and my heart just completely broke. Honestly, it's an absolutely gorgeous book. I think it reminds us why we should still be writing letters and writing emails. Absolutely loved it. And it was one of my favorites from the Zoella Book Club. As always, I'll be reading some quotes. This book had so, so many, but I've whittled it down to four. The first one is on page 30. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. You lost your mother. I haven't lost mine. Don't you think it's funny how people say lost as if they were just misplaced? But maybe it's a different meaning of lost in that you don't know where they went. The next quote is on page 53. I looked up your mother's photograph. I don't think it's depressing. I don't think it's hopeful either. 
it's life. When everything goes to hell around you, the only way to go is forward. The next quote is on page 85. I don't know what the point of this story is, except maybe to say that sometimes you get to a point where it hurts too much and you'll do anything to get rid of the pain, even if it means doing something that hurts someone else. Now, funnily enough, all the quotes that I've picked so far have been from their letters or emails exchanging to each other, which I find very interesting because it shows to me, again, that the things that matter most, what they say and what feels most personal, is the things that were exchanged by a letter and email. The last quote is on page 187. It will be hard to understand this quote if you haven't read the book, but it is a really great one. Mum normally used her digital cameras for field work because everything could be uploaded quickly from anywhere and she didn't have to worry about film getting damaged. She loved the permanence of film, how you couldn't just delete an image and try again. One shot, she used to tell me. Sometimes that's all you get. And that is it for the Isabella Book Club. I cannot believe we are at the end. Thank you all so, so much for watching the video, leaving comments, getting involved in the chats over on Twitter. The last one will be at six o'clock today and I really hope to see you all there because this has been such a great eight weeks. And remember to join in in the No Saver Place and Friends book club. I can't wait to share it with you all. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you would like to see more of on my channel and I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.